Hello everyone, it's, Hello. we're back again. It's lovely, sunny, sunny day, a bit too sunny. Um, sunny South Africa, we hope you guys in the UK, in the States are not too cold, Canada, I think it must be Chile, Germany. But here in South Africa, it's really the start of the summer now, so we're having really good weather, aren't we? Yeah, so... Um, just to follow up on, on yesterday's vlog, I just thought uh, we did speak about basically the same thing, but I just was looking back at some of the videos that I had made from my perspective. Start of a new journey. Half past five in the morning, South Africa, KwaZulu Natal. It's got on the highway. I'm going to be going to the Philippines to pick up my wife. Start of a two week journey. Let's hope it all goes well. But a 10 hour drive. Long way to go. Already got somebody trying to race me. So let's enjoy it. arrived in South Africa, Johannesburg, um, on my way to um, Davao, going to pick up my wife, Grace, it's going to be amazing, I haven't seen her since August, um, it's been a, a tough time, a couple of tough six months waiting for her visas to be allowed to come and live here in South Africa. But it's finally coming together and something we're going to look forward to. So I'm going to go. It's a, basically a 21 hour flight. And we're going to uh, meet up in Davao. Going to stay with her aunt for the night. And then we're going to be going through to where she lives. So that's going to be quite something. Um, this is the airport. Let me just spin it around. So you can have a look. Um, so it doesn't want to spin around okay so um, Johannesburg Airport it's basically 12 o'clock midday seems pretty empty here straightforward coming through immigration um, just waiting now to uh, board I basically got another hour and a half to to wait so I'm just had something to eat and uh, now I'm just sitting, waiting, watching the planes. You can put me on airplane mode. You still gotta think about me. You want someone to hold. You still gotta think about me. It can take you all night for the rest of your life. But until you change your mind, you can put me on airplane mode. You still gotta think about me. Put me on airplane mode You still gotta think about me You want someone to hold You still gotta think about me It take you all night for the rest of your life But until you change your mind You can put me on airplane mode You still gotta think about me
Like I was saying, the idea is to go to the Philippines. I'm going to spend about two weeks there, say good farewell to her parents, and say goodbye to the family. Um, yeah, I'm pretty bushed out from all the driving. I spent 10 hours driving up from my house, staying overnight with some people, friends. Uh, that was quite heavy going. Very nice uh, staying with them, catching up with my nephew, his family and his children, his child, so it was great fun. And now, the plan is to go through to be with Grace. And that has been significantly more difficult than what I thought it was going to be. It's not straightforward, guys, coming here. They pick up a Philippine wife. <laughs> There's lots of ins and outs, lots of cultural differences and things we have to change and just dealing with all the bureaucracy that was in Philippines everything needs a certificate and they call it a requirement and these requirements you know, nobody's prepared to like kind of back down there's, a, there's only one way to get those requirements and that's their way and uh, so you got to just jump all those those hurdles and good thing about the Philippine people they they're very patient so that helps me with it. my fiance because I really thought I was just going to go there, get married to her, and bring her back. Because that's how, how easy. So I went there for nearly uh, seven weeks, stayed there, and I thought that would be more than enough time, but it, it, it wasn't. It's nowhere near enough time. It's taken basically another six months. But anyway, she's got all the paperwork now. The only problem was I wasn't planning to come and pick her up. Um, just time and cost. And I think there might be a chance that they might offload, you know, single woman of her age. Uh, just because, how do they know that that person that they're married is even going to be there at the airport when they say they should be? So it might be a case that they're going to argue that she hasn't got enough funds to maybe fly back. So they'll probably offload it. And I wasn't prepared to waste £1,200 that happening. So I just spent another £1,000 me going there. And that's another thing. It's, it costs more to fly from the Philippines to anywhere in the world than uh, to fly to the Philippines, which is a bit crazy. I mean, her one-way ticket back is costing 300 pounds more than my ticket going there and back so nothing makes sense for the Philippines but anyway we have we have to do it we have to get her to South Africa and let her come and have a look and make a decision where she wants to live and where she wants to stay so very interesting and very exciting and I think she's a bit apprehensive you know she's gonna never been away from her family before so I'm just dreading the fact that if she becomes homesick that's not going to be good because Philippines is not a quick place to go and build to see mama or dada so hopefully she, she doesn't get homesick so I'm gonna to have to make it as nice as possible sometimes I know people that you can make it as nice as possible and they just still get homesick that tie to their parents to their family is so strong and also I was just thinking it, it's very noisy in the Philippines a very noisy place where I am so dead quiet so is she gonna cope with the change or is she gonna get bored it's gonna be too quiet but anyway lots of things to think about lots of things to get excited about 
And you know, if anybody is thinking about doing this, well, you know, you need to think twice. So I mean, I think maybe if I knew now what I knew, if I knew then what I know now, I might not have made the trip initially. However, Grace is a good woman, and I, and I'm taking the chance. You know, life's about taking chances. So let's let's see what happens. Um, yeah, well, that's about all I've got to say, and uh, I'll keep in touch. And uh, if you've got any comments, if you like what you see, you want to follow up what's going to happen with me and Grace, please subs uh, subscribe and push the notification button so that whenever we do upload a video, you'll get it. And um, so the whole idea is really to bring Grace to Africa. And let us see Africa, and then well, there's lots for me to show. You know, Victoria Falls and is a you know a nice place I want to show up when in the game reserve, and maybe go live there, and just see if we can you know, live off the grid. That's the plan. Uh, if not, you know, there are other options living in a big city, yeah. But uh, these are all the different things we want to explore, and this is what I hope to be doing with Grace. So if you'd like to follow us and to continue the journey with us and uh, see where life takes us in the next couple of years, that'll be great. Any comments that you have, just uh, leave us a, a note below. I'd like to hear what you're thinking, what you're suggesting, maybe, you know, how you think we can make sure that this actually works. That, that would be good for us. Uh, me and Grace would both appreciate that. All right then. Keep well, guys. Ciao. Bye. So that's the aeroplane that I'm going to be flying on to Singapore. And uh, that's the aeroplane I'm going to go on to be with Grace. So exciting. It's going to be good fun. Can't wait. Let it come. Good, good. So this is the aeroplane. Singapore Airlines. This is the plane that I'm going to be flying on my first leg of the trip and that's going to be landing in Singapore in about 12 hours time and that's the plane I'm going to be flying on it's the Airbus A350-900 So it's um, half past six in the morning, just arrived at Singapore Airport and everything's okay. My next flight, I see it's uh, from Terminal D and it's flying off at uh, 10.30, so it's about a three hour, three hour wait. So I'm just going to be walking around the shops, um, just having a little look around and uh, yeah can't wait to get to Davata this three hour trip to get there just over three hours so it's not too bad so I should be there two o'clock yeah so great time I'll show you a little bit of the airport this is Davao airport sorry it's not Davao airport this is Singapore Airport. Some more shops. Everything is nice and bright. Even this time of the morning, it's busy. So, can you imagine when it's later on? The big name shops are here. I actually need a, a cable for my iPhone. Let's have a look here. That crack on the plane, I don't know how that happened. Maybe hooked it with my foot as I was getting in and out. 
Ну, нас. This is the queue for Starbucks. Your coffee. Things we do. And I just thought I'd put that on Grace's channel so that you get my perspective of like how I was feeling coming to the Philippines to eventually meet up with Grace after a six month break and um, taking, you know, what was going through my mind, the difficulties of getting there, the flights, the, the car travel. And so I just thought we'd, we'd add some of these different uh, aspects into a video and, um, and that would show from my side how difficult basically uh, it was, how stressful it was and what it's, it's going to take anybody who's thinking about taking on the responsibility of going to the Philippines to find a wife. Some, some of the difficulties, hey? Yeah. Um, I think when you were looking through what I was going through, you thought, wow. You know, because obviously Grace was not sure. She didn't actually even know what it took to live from the other side of the world and then come and collect her. So, you know, some of these things we do take for granted the struggles, the challenges, and uh, only when you do them yourself do you appreciate the work that's involved there. It was all worth it, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so if you like what you, you're you seeing from, from what we've showed you today through all these different clips, um, if you've got any comments, we'd like to hear them. Uh, maybe we can elaborate on what we were thinking, what we were saying. And uh, definitely we still need subscribers. Yeah. So if you can subscribe, and if you could do what else? Push the notification button, hey Grace? Yeah. We'd appreciate it. So yeah, so this is just going to be from my perspective. And then um, tomorrow we're going to start looking at the time of when, we, when Grace first arrived here, that first week, and then the second week when she went off to Africa. And obviously there's going to be a lot about that that we'd like to highlight because we're thinking of doing some work in Africa, aren't we? Yeah. Higher up in Zimbabwe. Um, I'll let you in on two projects that I was involved in before I met Grace. Yeah. Um, and maybe go back to doing, getting involved in those projects again because they, they, do, they were fulfilling, hey? Yeah. So maybe I'll just leave a bit of a one slide regarding... What, what we're going to be talking about tomorrow. <laughs> Guys, thanks for everything. Thanks for tuning in to us. And from me and Grace in sunny South Africa, we'd like to wish you farewell and goodbye. See ya, bye.